Hey, welcome to this video. Now, I never work on a Sunday, well, almost never. Uh, today's an exception because, as you probably know, I picked up Convertry uh, a few days ago, and I've been playing around with it, I've been building stuff and testing stuff, uh, and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, comparing it to ClickFunnels is like comparing medicine to beer. One's lovely, the other's bloody horrible. Uh, and I absolutely, um, a door's probably two words, a stronger word, but I absolutely love how it works. This works like I work, so it's a really good fit. So I thought I'd show you my top five things that I like about Convertry. Um, the offer that they're running at the moment, which is a one-time payment, uh, finishes at midnight uh, Pacific time tonight, which is probably about eight o'clock tomorrow morning GMT. Um, so if you're in the UK, you've got till tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. Um, if you're in the United States, you've got until tonight to pick it up. And I actually strongly recommend it. So what I'm going to do is show you the top five things. Now, so, I'm going for, so to do this, I'm going to go across to the desktop. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the import. So here we are on Marketing Automation Labs and my Hive Marketing little funnel here. And I'm going to import a page. Okay, so I've got, if we go to my site, here is all my ClickFunnels page. This is literally one funnel. Okay, so I like quite complicated funnels. Um, I've got lead magnets and I've got various one-time offers, uh, which lead to a half price offer and a full price offer. And plus I've got confirmation pages for each one. Okay, it's probably unnecessarily complicated, but it will do for the time being. So I've copied the, I think the half price offer. So we're gonna copy that link address and go across to Convertry and we're just going to import this okay now this is important I confirm that this page belongs to me or I have permission to use these assets and that it complies with Convertry's term of, ser term of service okay you have my permission to take any one of my pages or any one of my funnels and use them for your own uh, benefit obviously change bits and pieces. I don't want to be click collecting your leads, etc. But you can use my stuff. Uh, if you're doing an affiliate program, ask whoever's selling the original stuff if you can clone their sales page. Make some changes to it. Add your affiliate link and link. If it's a click um, clickbank, you can make the click button or the button people click to buy go straight to their cart page. Okay, you can do that. That's perfectly permittable with the ClickBank's Terms of Service. That's a great way of running your own offers, okay, and running them on your page and keeping some of the traffic and building leads whilst doing affiliate stuff. So that's just a tip. Um, let's call this one half price. Okay, so that's it. So I'm simply going to import this now. You can see what it's doing. It's downloading the web page, and it's six, taking the 16 images, optimizing it now, and that's it. It's done. It's now imported into my site. And you can see here, here is my half price offer. Okay, so that's the first thing I like, um, the import function. I think that's gonna save so much time. I can bring all these funnels in. Okay, next is flexibility. So we'll look at this one here. So we click on, this is a thank you page. It's, this is one of my hybrid thank you pages, okay? I recommend that you do these types of pages, okay? So basically somebody opts into your um, form then give them some education. Educate them. See, there's a little bit of an issue here. Uh, but all we can do is, if I hold shift and then drag, I can drag the whole lot down and move things around. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of those properties. Okay, so talk about, this is, this is part of the flexibility, is moving stuff around. So maybe I don't like that image there. I could put that image there if I wanted to, okay? The other thing I like is undo button. Top left, undo, click that, and it moves things back. That is amazing. They don't, I don't think they have that on ClickFunnels. It's one of the problems I had. I had to, the number of times I had to redo everything. Okay, uh, you can start with stuff visible. You can hide it. Um, people, you can put a click button here, click here to see the chart or whatever, click here to opt in. So that, that, that means you can do opt-ins where um, you get the two-step opt-in. So you can have a button, they click, and the, the form comes up. I've got a video on that that I did yesterday for 
the guys in serious marketers only. If you want to see it, just let me know and I'll do it. Right, so this is what well, nothing for flexibility. Here is the mobile version. Okay. The mobile version is completely separate to the uh, desktop version. So this, this is amazing. So what I can do is I can move that around on this one. On the, so the desktop guys and the mobile guys can see something different. So where you've got a lot of all this text here, I could actually get rid of, so I don't want, don't want the links. Let's get, let's get rid of the links here. I don't want this. So on mobile, people won't have links. And if I drag this again by holding uh, shift, the whole lot moves. If I don't hold shift, I can separate stuff separately like that. Okay. Um, this is another one of my favorite ones. Hold out, click, and we've got, we've duplicated something. Okay, love it, love it, love it. So flexible. So that is part of the flexibility. Um, I'm going to close this down. I'm going to leave there. Okay, so I'm not going to work on this. Right, so. Um, more, a little bit more flexibility. Start If I want to do a split test, click the button there, start a split test. Okay. This is a landing page I created the other day. Uh, you, may have, you may have seen this. I basically cloned one of the convertory pages, added my own video in there, and changed that link so, to my affiliate link. So if I just close that a second. You can see here, we've got stats here. So if I click on the three dots there, um, you'll pu it's, it's publish, I've got, a, I can copy the publish link, that's good. But conversion and split test, I can export it. They have a, going to drop down here, WordPress plugin. Uh, you can download a plugin and put this on your site. Flexible, flexible, flexible. But we're going to go to conversion details. Not the best conversion details in the world, not the flashiest, but I can see that 40%, 40 people, that's 26%, the people who've been to that page have clicked on the link and gone to the convertory page. Okay, so 26% conversion rate, that's not bad. Okay, I quite like that. So all this stuff is really helpful for your business. So that's the flexibility side of things. Visual editor, this is what I love. So here is all separate pages. Okay, so here is my opt-in form. Uh, you can see it here. Okay, so that is my opt-in form there. These are a little bit weird here, so I would go and change them out. Uh, I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Um, form elements, if I click on form elements, I can do a text input here. So we would call that email, okay? All I'd have to do is create a form here. So connect this up to I use this to connect it up to ConvertKit or Active Campaign or whatever I use, and then this will all be good to go. Then connect this up to this is the submit button. Um, so I could create probably easier to create another submit button there and clone that. Okay, but that's it. You can do crazy things like here, like this. I'm not going to do this now, but if I change the position, I think it's a position to 360. Um, or the book corners to 360. This will be a circle. I can create a circle out of this. I picked that up from the support group, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Lots of tips in there. Right, so there's lots you can do with this. Okay. So I've got my funnel here. I'm going to do an arrow, drag it to here. That now takes people from the opt-in page to the thank you page. Okay. Um, I could, if I wanted to, take it from... So this is my... half price offer so if I wanted to I could take them to a half price $39 well less than half price I could take them there I could decide what I want to go there um, but I'm using this hybrid thank you page so that is where I will send people I'm sure you have seen this I recommend using this I can't remember I did show you already I recommend using this uh, hybrid thank you page where you give a lot of information and make a really um, great offer. So this is $19 rather than $97. Uh, that works really well. So that's how basically how you build your funnel. So thank you page. Uh, if they sign up, they will go to the success page. So we could 
link that up to the success page, or they will just go straight to uh, get the email. So that would ha that's how you build it out. So that is the visual editor. Love it, works really well. Uh, you can see exactly what you're working on and what works, and then it's just a case of unlinking it just by clicking that. Next, split testing. Once again, start here, click split test. I'm gonna click split testing, click on that. So now I've got a split test. All right, so you can see we've got two different versions. So all I could do here, I can go here and I can swap out my image for maybe a, um, a cover image. I can add a, maybe add a testimonial here instead. And then it's just a matter of letting the conversion run and stop split test and keep B, stop the split test and keep A. You get all the stats. Split test everything. There's nothing stop, because you can split test anything, uh, split test everything. Okay, so that is split testing. And finally, when it goes to support. Now the first day, the day after I signed up, um, I got this, I got an email with a link here. Okay, this is, this is the type of stuff you actually get from Convertry. Download a funnel, so I give you a download, a funnel to download, it's this very simple one here. Okay, then they get, you can download a PDF tutorial, they've got a tutorial video, and they take you to through starting and building your first funnel in 20 minutes. Okay, that's great. I have logged, I always, one thing I always do when I sign up for something, I log a support call just to see what the response is. I logged one on Friday morning. I, got the, I had the answer within three hours. Okay, very, very good support there. And they do have the Convertory Clubhouse, which is their support forum um, on Facebook, or support group on Facebook. Uh, you can see Andy Fletcher and um, Neil, the two developers are in here all the time answering stuff. Okay, uh, this, this is Sunday morning two hours ago, which it would be around about 10, 9.30 UK time, and he's in there answering questions. Okay, I've not seen a question go unanswered in for more than about an hour or so. Very, very, very good. And it's packed full of tips. Uh, someone's done a video here showing how to turn this straight line into a basically angular line to make it look a little, little bit better. Lots of tips in here. Really good, really good group, and there is 2,000 members, so you can see it's not hit and miss software. That, so that's it. That is why. That's five reasons why I love Convertry. Thanks.